Hi guys, Rogue here with another tutorial, and uh, this this uh, this tutorial is going to be. I'm not sure if it should be called a tutorial. It's just someone suggested on my tutorial, my side chain tutorial yesterday, um, that I just showed showed you what one of my songs looks like in Fruity Loops, and um, what how it's put together and stuff. So. And they were like the drop mainly. It's like I want to see what the drop looks like in right. It's, it's not too complicated as you can see, obviously. Well, it is quite complicated. But um, so this is Daybreak. I don't know if you've heard that. Maybe you should go and listen to it before you um, watch this. But yeah, this is Daybreak in Fruity Loops. This is what it looks like. And also, some someone uh, was saying yesterday. Sorry. Uh, someone was saying yesterday, why are you only doing Fruity Loops tutorials? Come on, be more vast. And I'm, um, I'm sorry about that, but I just <laughs> Fruity Loops is the only FL is the only uh, software I know how to use. I've never even tried anything else. So, but as a result, obviously, I know this program inside out. So this is Daybreak, and I made this a few months ago. Um, and this is what the drop sounds like. And I'm sorry actually, because my my computer is messing up quite a lot. And um, like I've had to put this audio, the audio driver on some primary sound driver instead of using my sound card and stuff because it's a bit messed up at the moment. So um, just bear with bear with that. It'll glitch a little bit. Okay, so this is Daybreak in Fruit Loops. That's actually the second drop. This is the first drop. So what I've got, let's go from the start. This is pattern one. And um yeah, I, I don't I can't really tell you how to make that, I just made it and then put it at the start. So I put an envelope on it so that it was so that it slowly opens. And um, I put some drums and a filter, fil some filters on, a filter on them so that, help, low pass filter so that it opens up as it goes along. And I've got a, a sweep there. And um, I've got a piano playing the same thing as that synth here. With um, with an envelope on it, uh, LP. Closing it actually, isn't it? Oh no, it's not, it's not. Oh, it's already, it's got a filter on it as well, the piano has. So I've got my piano there, I've got uh, the Fruity Love filter on it. Just making it go strange. And then an, F, an LP opening along the hallway as well. So the vocals, which I get asked about a lot actually. How do you do the vocals? Um, it's just, I get vocals, an acapella or something. Um, pitch it all up, just cut out random vowels, pitch it up and yeah just add effects and stuff to them, put them, put them in the tune so 
so I've got this as well, just playing randomly. Which is the 3x oscillator. Um, with some delay and stuff, I've got some, yeah, just, yeah. It's a, just a nice little thing, adds it as effect to it. And this is the whole thing, that's the intro. Now, for this bit, I've got a um, massive, right? And um, where is it? Pattern 21. So I've got massive plane. Where's it? That's a sub. So I made this patch. Um, which is just a hard bass sound, really, with a band reject filter. Um, grain one, square saw one, just two oscillators. It's really simple with um, a, a performer doing that on the uh, band filter and the wave table position on that. You can mess around with it how much you want, but that's just a hard bass sound. I like to work with stuff like that and just experiment really I didn't know what I was making when I made it I just experimented and that's what that's what it sounds like and which is you know pretty good if you want to print screen that now <laughs> just uh yeah oh and in the voicing tab this is just a quick massive tip always put the unizono above one right I put it on two because it I don't know what it makes it sound kind of crisp and nice and not too much so I put it on two sometimes a lot of the time um, pan position on um, that that means that can only work when there's more than two on the unizono section put monophone on legato on and uh, pan position on and then move this this slider to adjust like where it sounds like it is where it is in the headphones and it just makes it sound beefy when you get it in the right spot and uh, I've got the pitch, pitch cut off on as well which kind of dis detunes it yeah well um yeah anyway that's enough of that and what have I got going on at the same time I've still got the piano riff I've got a kick on its own and I've got that and that's fully open now and I've also got that and the vocals Nice crash there and a kick. While well, that's playing and that's playing. Oh, that's my nice little string section. That's with contact. Where is that? Where are you? There you are. Contact tremolo strings. And that's uh, with the attack right up so it comes in slowly. Then I added some brass. And obviously side chain in there once the drums came in. I'll show you the drums. Oh. Where's that filter? It's annoying because when I turn off the drums. It's 
not hard to make, really. I've got my favourite snare. I've got my favourite like my kick that I, my favourite kick that I like to use. And uh, you'll notice that my, this snare, I'm just using everything. I've started moving away from it now. I've started to experiment with other snares and stuff, but <laughs> there was basically from October last year when I started up until like daybreak and nightfall and um, dynamite. I just used the same snare <laughs> the whole time, which is just strange. The same snare is in um, aviation, I think. Oh no, wait, that's just before I had it. This this snare that I don't know quite. I can't remember where I got it from. Biab Snappy. But um, yeah, interesting. I've got my drums, get my kick and snare linked to a drum section, so that I can just um, put a, a low pass filter on the whole thing. So now, I hope this is still recording. Yeah, best be. Okay. Right. So I've got my twinkly thing going on. Got the vocals, same th same thing happening. What's this? Yeah, the piano. A lot of repetition. I've got a master. Ah, I've got an EQ on the master here. Oh, this is interesting. So this bit. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. That's literally just. Where are you? 3x oscillator which I use all the time N these two are volume down one of them is just that the no standard wavy wave one see I'm so bad I don't even know the names of these things I'm just whatever that is that's a squiggly wave um, and just pitching itself up with loads of delay and reverb on it so it's just like Sorry about the crackling. Um, and I've got here the so that it's it's kind of low cut the whole the whole track. So it's on mas the master. Right, I've got this EQ there, and that's low cut there. But I've just got it right at the end, so it's not really low cut at all. And um, that's going to move up when I play this section. So we'll see. <laughs> It goes up and then brings back down just before the drop. I was quite proud of that. <laughs> Fade chords. Ah, okay. I obviously thought that'd be easier. Right, so the drop. This is a part you're all interested in. So I've got a. pattern here that is the drop obviously it doesn't sound quite right without the automation on that thing which is just massive again Ew. it's um automation on the I think that's it what slide Okay, so it's an automation on the um, comb filter, basically. Making that go BOOM! Okay, had a look at that, enough look, yeah, yep. Right, I feel quite pr protective over it, I'm sure you understand. So I've got this patch playing. That's just the sub, isn't it? That's just the sub. So that's massive. Great look at that. I can't be showing you how to make that, but you know, it's a massive patch. 
and that's a massive patch that's my sub that's another massive patch I can't show you how to make that, I'm sorry and that sounds like that without the automation and then I've got that's the patch from earlier on playing a bass note and this is playing the chords so now I've got something else I think oh yeah I always use this it's just a simple simple patch that it just sounds nice like, to me I think and then I've got the the uh, as you can see here we've got the drums go oh, it's cause I've... and we've got the automation goes poof, ka. Dun, 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 dun. So like double time, but the drums don't change. Oh, I have a kick on each one actually. They do change. I've got a reverse snare there. Bit of vengeance. And um, yeah. That, that one. So I'm not going into detail with the patches and everything, but I hope you understand that it's just you need to you don't want to copy my patches. Let me just say it like that. You don't want to copy what I make exactly. You want to be able to just make your own. And that's what that's what will get you somewhere. Make your own patches. But this is nice to be able to for you guys to be able to look at how this is put together and know that actually it's not that complicated I've got a um, crowd going oh, oh This is where my riff starts. This one. With a cut off. Oh yeah, I changed the uh, piano riff because I've changed the chords for that bit. Because before it was like the chords, which is very important actually. The chords for a, a track, it's um for the, for the start for my my drop. Right, I've got. Like. Down, down, down is the basic chord for it. It's good to have a chord sequence to work around. And for this section, it's just just stays on the same one. And the chords change over the top, but the bass stays the same. But here, I've changed the whole sequence. When it builds up to this last bit, it, um, the chord sequence changes, and I've even made a new pattern for that. And 
I've got a, crowd, a choir coming in. Oh, it's epic. Oh. Oh. the vocals again it's just it's simple but it's just how you make it isn't it really so I've got that main riff going over the whole thing I've got the choirs going there I've got oh let's unpick this oh yeah, I've got that as well. Bit of Justin Bieber. Oh no, no, I did this before he even, before I even heard that track. I've got. So that's the chord sequence. Oh, that's just a sub. Get that. Bit of that. that. Lead riff. And the the main bass line. Oh, and then I've got a whoop whoop. That one. Yeah. So I basically covered it all. Really. I hope I haven't missed anything. I know I haven't gone into detail about the patches and all that, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So maybe I'll I'll do a couple more. I'm starting to like doing this. I, I like doing this tutorial thing though. Like I like explaining some things to you. I might end up doing it past this hashtag revival week thing. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, then subscribe and uh, follow me on Twitter and Facebook. You know the links will be in the description. Uh, check out my music if you haven't already, and you've just stumbled across this tutorial. And yeah, cool. More to come. More to come. Have fun. Have a nice week. Bye bye. <laughs>